Good morning, everybody. Happy Vlogtober. I'm super excited to tell you some facts about me. <clears throat> I'm going to kick off October with this. Facts about me. And a lot of people wouldn't even know this. First off, excuse me, I'm just, it's 5, 5, 6, 15 in the morning. I'm a Pisces. I was born in March 1970. Yes, I'm old people. I am 50 years old. Ah, here's another fact about me. I'm a mom of five. Four boys, one beautiful daughter. And I'm also a grandma to four. Two granddaughters and two grandsons. Here's another fact about me. I've been married and divorced one time. I married my kid's father and we were together for 22 years. It was not ever going to be a regret in my life. It was just something, you know, we came together, had kids together. He became father to my oldest son. He's not my, he's not his biological father because his real biological father didn't bother. So with that being said, he became an amazing father. He's he's a good friend of mine. I want I would consider him my best friend. But we were never meant to be together for a long time. They say you have three you get three true loves in your life. And he's one of them for me. Sorry guys. Oh, it's too early in the morning for this. Um, there's another fact about me. I'm an Air Force brat. I was born in Thailand. And um <clears throat> my dad is from Maryland. Gosh, I hate when I Get like this I'm also was also um, when I was married to my ex-husband a National Guard wife so I've been in the military for the majority of my life oh I know I'm super morbidly obese that's another fact but there's another fact on top of this the reason why I don't look as gross as the other super morbidly obese women see I've never been super morbidly obese I just morbidly obese reason why I am not as huge as those women and I have more common sense is that I was an athlete I used to be a, a roller speed skater back in the day now, I do have a couple pictures I don't think they're ruined because my twins went gung-ho one day and just started coloring on all the pictures Oh, here's another true fact about me. Asians shrink, and it's the true fact. When I was in high school, guess what? <laughs> I was 5'5". Five five. I'm 5'3 now. <laughs> yes. Another true fact, I've been bullied all my life. I'm still being bullied to this day. There are grown people out here who still hate and, and want to make other people's life, at, even at the age of 50, Yes, bullying doesn't go away, and I'm disappointed with adults that still bully because their children become bullies. I have a poor child in my van that she's getting her family together to show her bullies because the school system here won't do nothing about it. No, because I want to start a memorial fund. I mentioned this in the video for a young man who used to wear my son's number. He, the school knew about it. But he still killed himself. And I'm sick of the bullying in this world. It's still going on. The internet has made it so easy for it. Oh, if you haven't noticed, I have hit a logo. That's another true fact about me. Yes, people. I'm not a monster. Look, I don't look like a monster. I just don't have pigmentation anymore. It's not something you can catch. It's not something that, you know, oh, you should be afraid of. The coronavirus is something you should be afraid of. But a lot of you won't wear a mask. Uh, and another true fact about me, I'm a hardcore Steelers fan. Yes, I am. I have fell in love with the Steelers back in the 70s when me and Joe Green did that commercial. And I always wanted to be that child that got the coke. Me, Joe Green, I wish you would pick me to do the commercial with. <laughs> but I do love Mike Tomlin. Oh, Mike Tomlin, I don't know what you're doing out there, dude. But this year you're doing better. I won't say my Steelers are three and zero this year, and I have a pure hatred for the for the um, Eagles. So I cringe when I ever see the Eagle any Eagles fan. Yes. So with that being said, we're going we're gambling for the Super Bowl this year, guys. Another true fact about me. 
Yeah, everything is true about me that I've said, but I'm saying another true fact. This is a true fact. In my 20s, when I, we, me and my husband, me and my ex-husband were together, we first lived in Jersey together. We lived in Central Jersey, you know, where, um, I forgot the name of the show. Oh my goodness, those Italians, you know, at the beach house. What the heck is that? I don't remember. I don't watch it anymore. But that show is is realistic. It's not fake. Those, those Italians do act like that. And they do. I used to run from them in the club. I don't, I did not. Mm. The gold chains, the hairy chest thing was not my thing. But they would, they would harass you in the club. But me and a few of my girls, we would go, we went to Jersey City. And we partied with Vinny from Naughty by Nature. He saw us having an awesome time. He said, you know, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to hang out with y'all. We're going to have some drinks. And he, that's all he wanted to do. He didn't want to have sex with anybody like everybody wants to do now. It's disgusting how our world had came. You know, back then, we, we, we got along with each other. We partied with each other. You know, nobody was like, oh, I'm I'm this person. I can't hang out with no no measly person like you. But, yeah, he was cool dude. Vinny... You were you were cool peeps back then. Thank you for hanging out with us that night. We made you made our made our weekend. And also another true fact of me is I was also a fellow football parent with famous Hall of Famer Michael Singletary, who played for the Chicago Bears. So you don't if you're not a football fan, you know, you wouldn't even know who Michael Singletary is. So with that being said, yes, his son and my oldest son were fellow football players together and they were fellow students together at Calvert Hall College. If you don't know, oh well. Well, oh, the frame, if you don't know, now you know. It's what I meant to say. It's too early in the morning for my brain to function. So, yes, he was in Baltimore for the time and he was coaching Ray Lewis at the time and he also did um commercials for the hummer i'm a, this is another fact on top of that i hate all those h2s and h3s are just fake humvees if you're gonna get a hummer get a real military hummer ah that's my that's my my future goals that's the kind of vehicle i want to on top of a tesla but yes people these are the fa facts about me and i just wanted to put it out there why <clears throat> Now you know a little bit about me. I am so sorry for the call, the phlegm in my chest, but like I said, I'm just waking up. I'm just getting ready to go and do my morning run, and that's also another fact about me. I work. I'm a very hard worker. I have broken my body down working at warehouses. That's why now I drive a special needs school van, and and I love my kids. They're all awesome, and I also do DoorDash. And people can off DoorDash all you want. When you get the right order to go to the right person and you don't have no GPS problems like I keep having every week. Ah, DoorDash, you got to get your app better. But it's quick money. I'm taking care of myself. You know, my ex-husband helps out every night. You know, help, has been helping out still. And I appreciate him. He's an amazing man. Maybe it's just because our marriage broke up it doesn't mean that, you know, that he's not an amazing person. Sometimes the people that you're with... As long as they're not abusing you and they're not beating the tar out of you every day, they are still amazing people. They just don't belong with you. And, you know, he still has love for me. I still have love for him, but it's not a love that will make us get back together. Like, I know a lot of couples do. I heard a story from a friend of mine said that she knew somebody that broke up got together. I'm not going through all that. That's just too, it's too much. And me being alone for the last 10 years, I've dated on and off with the biggest jerks. And I hope those biggest jerks see my video, see this video in particular, because you guys are total a-holes. You don't deserve to have anybody. Because I'm a good person. I'm a good woman. Maybe I don't have the perfect body, yeah, but I have the perfect heart. So, with that being said, I hope everybody has an amazing day. And happy Vlogtober. Be spooky. Don't bully. Just be spooky. I love you guys. Have an amazing day. And I'll talk to you soon.